Now, he is Bristol's most success successful even boxer with a string of belts and titles spanning a 17-year career. But now Lee Haskins says he's swapping the canvas for coaching. Yep, 37-year-old announced his retirement after defeat on Saturday night. It's now going to focus on the career of 19-year-old son Anton. And Lee and Anton have both joined us in the studio. Guys, thanks so much for giving out some of your time coming in. Uh, Lee, let's start with you because you've had... Uh, you know, a long, very successful career, and, and, and you called time on it. How are you feeling? Yeah, well, do you know what? I'm feeling kind of, I'm feeling great about it. To be fair, is um, it's a new chapter for me, something a little bit different. But um, you know, I think it was time for me to give up now and and stop competing and work on coaching. Mm. Mm. It was after the the fight at the weekend. Um, but was this something that was kind of in the planning? You didn't just suddenly decide after Saturday? Or? Yeah, it was, it's been going on for a little while now. My, even my, uh, my son Anton, he said to me, Dad, regardless of this fight, win or lose, he said, that's kind of it. You have to really? kind of retire now, yeah. Why did you say that, Anton? Because like, I want him for the best and I want to con concentrate on my career and yeah. I want him like we're in my corner at all times. Mm. And we can sort of see, I guess, um, well, the viewers at home can't see, but your knee's in a brace. That kind yeah. of hampered you on Saturday night. And I guess... You've been doing it for so long, you know, your body does take a bit of a toll. That's right, this has been going on going for um, six months now. It's been popping out, I've had, it's popped out four times within the past six months. Well, that's um, a kneecap popping yeah, out, isn't it? Yeah, the kneecap keeps oh. popping out. And um, it keeps happening in sparring. And we kind of knew it was going to happen in this fight mm. at some point, but we did wrap it up and we just hoped for the best. And it, we did hope it might kind of hold out. Gosh, I don't didn't. know how you do it going through all that pain, <laughs> really. But I just wonder, in the light of all that stuff that you've you've gone through, did you ever say to Anton, you know what, this this isn't a great career to go into. I'd like you to, you know, be a lawyer. No, he, didn't, or he didn't want me. To, he didn't want me to be a boxer. No, kind of. Really? I, I didn't, yeah, didn't. I, there was other things I wanted him to do, but for me. I've done boxing my whole life, so I have so much knowledge, and it's the only thing that I could really give back to him mm. that I know I can teach him the ins and outs of it. So yeah, and I, you know I've got so much knowledge, and I want I want to give that back to the to mm. the people from Bristol. You know, training kids as they're coming up. There's going to be a lot of kids out there that want to be a champion themselves one day, and all the knowledge that I've got, I can give it to them. And you know, hopefully we can produce more champions and bring yeah. more champions. So back not just Bristol. Anton, then other other. No, of course not. Not just Anton. Young up and coming yeah. fighters, yeah. <laughs> young and um, up and coming people. And I want I just want to um I want that opportunity a gym will help a lot of people not just in boxing you know mentally as well mm. so yeah I can you know when you look back on your career given all the success that you've had what what has boxing done for you because it's you, you put a lot into it physically yeah. and it takes a lot of your time training but it must have offered you a lot as well it, it, it's given me you know an, an amazing life to be fair you know I've traveled the world um, you know I, I've brought my kids up around boxing so you know the 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 opportunities that boxing gave me was incredible and that's why I always want to I want to be a part of the sport for the rest of my life to be yeah. fair it's um, something I'm going to continue to do forever just not competing because my, <laughs> yeah. my body's falling apart <laughs> <laughs> Anton it's um is it is it full time for you now this yeah, is this is your life now, now. Eight, I get like an eight week training camp and then I do that every day do like two hours in the morning mm. go back rest and then I'll go on my long run after that and then rest and I'll go to another gym at night I was training him some morning, to be fair, and uh, he said, we trained him, I trained him pretty hard. He said, Dad, you know what? I'm thinking about retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you get on? Yeah, we yeah. get on like Axe Fire, but you know, we do annoy each other a lot. Cause I we're, bet. Because we're around each other quite well. You know, like 24-7 rules around training together. So we do get on each other's nerves a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Dads always yeah. have high expectations yeah. Yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, but I've got to be careful now because he'll probably kick me in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure he gets the right one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming in. No, thank you for having You've us. had a fantastic career, Lee. It's been yeah. great yeah. watching you progress. And so we're going to watch you very closely Thank to see you. how you do yeah, the next sure year. Sure, speak to both of you yeah. and see. Thanks <laughs> okay. so much. Thank you for having us.